Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. Uh, today I'm back with uh, one of my subscribers' channels again. It's the Alex Art C4D. Um, it took me a while in that first in that first video I've just shown you to show what the actual effect was, but it's basically how the guy stood still and then the kind of the camera pans around behind him, which looks uh, really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Alex take over and show you this tutorial. So thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to uh, you know give him some nice support and go subscribe to him. Cheers, guys. What is up, guys? I got another tutorial for you and to be fair I think this one's quite nice it's basically a cinematic effect um, but instead of using um, a still image you're leaving it as a still image or a, f a video we're just going to use a 2d still image and convert it into a 3d layer making it look like it is actually a 3d moving thingamabob anyway um, basically what you want to do is go into theater mode and take two screenshots, one with the soldier in it and one without the soldier in it, like that. Okay. So once you've got the both the um, the screenshots, one will look like this and one will look like this, for example. Okay. Don't worry about the name at the top, right? And then grab your pen tool or whatever you use to cut out. Um, it's entirely up to you. And go round it. You don't need to be perfect. Just go round the whole of it, um, clicking it. Um, try and make it look as smooth as you can, obviously. So I'd go around all this, but I've already done it. And then once you finish, going around it. So let's say I'd gone around this now. Join it back up. Right click, make selection. Um, give it a feather of around two, um, just so if you have gone wrong on some parts, it doesn't look rugged. And then um, copy and paste it. Now select that layer and drag it over this one. So obviously, if it had made a good job, it would look like this one here. Now um, you're pretty much done inside Photoshop. Once you've got them two, just go File, Save As, or Control Shift and S, and then um, save it as a PSD file. And now I will meet you in Adobe After Effects. Bear with me. Right. So now we're inside of Adobe After Effects. We're going to want to drag our clip in. So you can either go File, Open Project, or uh, no, sorry, not open project, import, and then go file, or you can obviously just drag the clip into the project window. Um, so find your file, um, obviously it'll be a .psd, so mine's called Daha, because I'm bad like that. And then uh, you're going to want to import it as a composition, and then just click open. If you don't do it there, you can always do it here, it says composition there. Leave these the same, and click OK. Right, now um, on your clip, you're going to want to just drag it in. Let's zoom out a little bit because that's a little bit big. <coughs> a little bit more. Right. So if we go into this composition, we have two layers. One's the background and uh, one's the foreground, as you can see. So what we're going to want to do is first off, just make these two 3D layers. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you can just go down to toggle switches or modes and enable it as a 3D layer. Right now, go layer, new, and then camera and make it um, 35 millimeters. you can name it something so we're going to call sexy sauce <laughs> why not uh, just because we can now we've got our camera sexy sauce um, let's just name these just so that we know what we're uh, dealing with so uh, soldier and this one obviously will be BG background right um, now we've got both these layers let's just check first off yep um, <clears throat> we're going to use up here these little nifty tools. So we've got the or orbit camera tool, which obviously will be orbiting around 3D space. Uh, track X, Y, and track Z. But before we do that, before before we do that, Jesus, um, let's zoom out a little bit more. And on the Z, uh, Z axis on the soldier, we're going to just want to drag the clip um, towards us, and then holding Shift and click in one of the corners. Just drag it back down to its original size. Actually, let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so while I'm um, fiddling, uh, I would like to say uh, thank you to Rocket, uh, to Rocket Ross for uploading my uh, last tutorial up onto his channel. Uh, it's really, really appreciated. Right, anyway, less of the chatting on. So, as you can see, if we just go to Orbit Camera, you don't need to do this, but I'm just going to show you they are actually in 3D space so that image is no longer um, flat on that one so let's just go back 
Right, now we're going to want to go into our Sexy Souls camera and then go into Transform and um, Keyframe um, the position and point of interest. Right, now if we go through about 5 seconds, um, let's just grab our... Yeah, let's use, let's use our orbit tool, but I'm going to use Shift as well so it doesn't um, go all dodgy. Right. I'm going to want him to move over that way, but as you can see, we've got a black line. So if we zoom out, leave that how it is for now, and go to the background layer. And now all it needs doing is scaling up. Now you can be a little bit more careful than I am, but I'm rushing a little bit because I don't want this tutorial to drag on. So let's just make him a little bit bigger as well. And then let's go back into it right click on this one here this little keyframe and go easy ease now you can pick whichever one you want but I prefer to use easy ease and I'll go back a few frames and then um, add another one and leave that as easy ease as well um, for some reason I know I, well to me it seems like it gives a better effect but that is basically effects and then add everything else what you want to add your colour correction and stuff like that on top of it thanks guys Alex at C4D you know the name do what you will. Thanks guys. Peace out.